my prediction for the 2024 Chinese Grand Prix. So we're back in China, finally after five years. My time has been an F1 fan, I've actually never watched China. So this is technically a new race for me. But yeah, let's go in the flop of the weekend. I'm so sorry for flop of the weekend. I have gone with Carlos Sainz. He's done pretty well in the championship so far. He has to come to our end at some point. His status at China hasn't been that good. So I just think he won't have a very good time. He will obviously be out raced by Leclerc. But I also think he's going to have a very good time of it. On my surprise of the weekend, this is going to be obvious. Zhou Guanyu. It's his race weekend. He ha I mean, it's his home race. He has to, to do something good. Also, that of course, it's on the most terrifying picture of Joe. But yeah, I think he's just going to mess up his pit stops again. So I hope Steve doesn't mess up his pit stops. I just hope he gets points or something or close to it. Or just has a good race. Anyways, now let's get into Sprint Pole. Because there's a sprint race this weekend. Don't worry, it's not Joe by you. For sprint pole, how the Lujo am I? I'm going to go for Lando North. Come on. The track just suit them. Oh, wait, he has a long straight. Yeah, I'm just being the Lujo. And for sprint winner, I'm still the Lujo because I've gone Lando North again. I've gone to win the sprint from pole. I know, I'm on some serious crack weekend. I know. I don't know what I'm smoking on this weekend, but if this happens, I guess I'll, it'll be in your face, I guess. Anyways, now let's go to qualifying main race pool. Of course, I'm out on line, though. It's Matt Verstappen for sprint race pool. I was going to say Charles Leclerc, but it would be a crime not to put Matt for pool this weekend. It would be kind of a crime. Has he gotten pole here before? I don't think so, so... That seems to be his first pole of the circuit. It's still crazy that Max has gotten all the poles this season. It's probably going to stop at this track the one time that I predict him for pole. It is what it is, but stuff happens. Now, let's go with top three now. In third place, I'm having Lando to finish third. I know, probably on some serious crack. Probably on some serious crack. Second place, it has to be Charles Leclerc. I think you have a pretty good race. I don't want to put him pole because he probably doesn't want to get another pole. Maybe a strong race for him. You guys, I have no Perez in the top three. I just realized that just now. I should have put Perez third, but I'm not changing these predictions at all. So have Charles second. But who's gonna be first? Did I did I really just make it sound interesting enough? Are you kidding me? I really just made it sound interesting. First place, we all know who it is. We all know who it is. No 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 Logan Sargent. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, I had the wrong picture. Max Verstappen to win the race. Of course. I think, I do think, for some match predictions, I do think that he'll have not as fun of a time. I think, I do think Ferrari will be close. I want to put this into my predictions. The top, the teams I think are going to be the fastest, like, the order. I think it's going to be Red Bull, then Ferrari. Then I feel... I don't want to say, I think there's going to be a bump with her between McLaren and maybe Mercedes. I think Mercedes might like this track a lot. Because, you know, the low speed corners, especially like the first sector. So I think Mercedes should be a bit better here. I guess we'll see. It's a crazy prediction. My crazy prediction, I have all the cars to finish. Okay, and this one's probably not going to happen. But yeah, I have all cars to finish the race. And yeah, those are my predictions for the sprint race and the main race. 
I, honestly, I, I like the races, but from a team perspective, like from a personal perspective, it's not that good. But, I, but I've been craving F1 recently, and it's nice to have something actually to watch. Even if I gotta get up at like 3 in the morning to watch it. Oh, please, I just can't wait until the UMP approach comes. And get to stay, to, you know, get up late and watch. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.